चाय विथ शुगर और विथ जैगरी वॉट्स द डिफरेंस बोथ आर सेम शुगर इज शुगर बट जैगरी इज मोर न्यूट्रिशियस ना सब बोलते हैं Your sugar is refined and jaggery has so much nutrition. For whom and how much? I think everybody has this misconception. Let's clear it out. Hello everyone, this is Soumya and you're watching the Global Tales. Welcome back to my channel and today what we're going to talk about is the facts about sugar. So usually we think that the table sugar that we see the chini that we put in our chai is the actual sugar, but it's not the case. That is one type of sugar. from maida to fruits to whatever we eat that has carbohydrate is broken down into sugar units and these sugar units are nothing just carbon hydrogen and oxygen chains so when they are connected together in one unit two unit three unit they form the sugar that we get from different food items so when there is just one basic unit of sugar it is called glucose that is absorbed in our blood stream the basic unit of sugar and galactose that is one part of milk sugar similarly fructose that is a sugar that comes from fruit so these are the basic units of sugar now when these sugar molecules and sugar units are combined together then they form different kinds of other sugar like table sugar is sucrose right that is a combination of glucose plus fructose so these two sugar units when combined together they form different other sugar units that we get directly from food item and similarly when lot of chains of sugars are connected together they form starch that is there in maida uh, fiber that is there in our fruits and vegetables so these everything that we eat apart from protein and fat is sugar it's not just the table sugar that we eat so yes understanding that what exactly is sugar will help you understand that what exactly you might be thinking healthy is actually not many people have a misconception that good uh molasses brown sugar coconut sugar are natural and hence they are healthier version of sugar however everything is actually broken down to into simpler sugar units so what is exactly honey or good they are just a combination of sucrose fructose uh, and lot of glucose molecules combined together whenever we eat something that has carbohydrate it's broken down into its simplest unit called glucose this glucose is absorbed by the blood stream with the help of insulin where it is utilized for variety of body functions excess glucose is passed through liver or is stored as fat in muscles so understanding of the fact that how body utilizes sugar is very important for you to differentiate between the types of sugar that you consume whether you are taking it from honey whether you are taking it from sugar cane whether you are taking it from good everything is eventually broken down into glucose that is utilized by your cells in order to be utilized for energy Imagine the team of workers who are working on the food that we eat if we drink cold drink they quickly absorb it into the blood stream if we take something that's complex then it will take them more time to work on it and absorb it into the blood stream but there is no chacha ji involved which is giving extra fevers to good uh, or coconut sugar or anything that we think is a healthy body processes everything in the same way it remains unbiased now your honey is just a combination of sucrose glucose fructose with little bit of extra nutrients but these nutrients are not that significant so that it can be termed as healthier for them to show any effect on your body like for example good has good amount of calcium and iron but but those the quantity of the nutrients in those uh, particular sugar source is very insignificant so when you consume good you're not consuming it in that quantity so that it can become significant for you to get that much of important vitamins and minerals so you have to understand that sugar is sugar whether it's coming from uh, fruit it's coming from good coconut sugar any of the natural sweetener or a table sugar the good is just adding color and taste to your food and there is no difference as such whether you are having good ki chai or you are having normal chai so you have to be very clear whenever you consume any of the sugar sweet that sugar is sugar so you cannot be going overboard thinking that i am a diabetic but i can have good ki chai i am a diabetic so i can have dates so what about fruit sugar again fruit sugar is fructose a simplest unit of sugar again utilized by the body in the very similar format as 
any other sugar. The only thing here is because of the fiber attached to the fruit, it will absorb the sugar and will make sure that you don't get those much spikes as you get with the normal sugar. And the fruit sugar is accompanied with lot of vitamins and minerals that is very very essential for your body. So add as many fruits as you can in your diet so that you can get the benefits of energy, fiber and vitamins and minerals. But not going bored with it if you are a diabetic person or if you have a chances of developing to type 2 diabetes then understanding of the fact that you cannot go overboard even with fruit. Last but not the least sweetener. Now, there are so many people who advocate the fact that we have to consume sweetener because it's a healthier way to go about in order to avoid sugar. First of all, you have to understand sweetener is for people who are diabetic. Now, it can help them in some way. But for people who are healthy individuals, sweetener is just confusing your mind. Now, it's there are so many researchers that have proven that when person have moong dal ka halwa with a sweetener and a person which is having moong dal ka halwa with the regular sugar because sweetener doesn't have calories you are tend to eat double the amount of moong dal halwa as compared to one you are having with the regular sugar then as a result you are consuming double the amount of calories as you were about to consume it with the regular sugar now the problem with this case is that in moong dal ka halwa the carbohydrate the amount of ghee is going inside your body only thing that you are eliminating by adding uh, sweetener is the sugar part. Rest everything remains same. But when you are consuming it in the double quantity, it is causing more harm than good to your body. And as a result, for healthy individuals, if you are looking for weight loss, if you are maintaining your healthy body, if you are looking for fat percentage, then going for sweeteners only confuses your mind because it doesn't have calories. But at the same time, you are consuming lot of it because its calories doesn't count. Even for diabetics, it is not something that they can overboard with sweetness because again, it is causing confusion in your brain and it won't help you in a longer run. So balance has to be there. If you are having gulab jamun that is made up of sugar free, then that gulab jamun also has a lot of oil, also has a lot of ghee, also has a lot of maida. That all of these things also contribute to sugar because at, at the very basic level, everything comes down to sugar. So you are raising your blood glucose levels at any point in time. So you have to be very considerate while using sweeteners. Don't make it a habit. Sweeteners doesn't help you in a longer way. Just have it in a balance. So yes, these were important points about sugar and because there are so many myths attached to it. Recommended daily intake of added sugar can be 30 grams per day. And you know, two tablespoons of sugar makes it to 30 grams. So at the end of the day, we are consuming a lot of it because from uh, brown breads to ketchups to everything that we get from outside has a lot of sugar in it. So yes, be mindful of the fact, be aware. I'm not saying just cut down your sugar. Sugar is a very, very important um, energy source. And then when I say sugar, I'm talking about sugar in whole that has lot of fiber, starch, lot of um, fruit sugar, lactose, everything. I'm talking about everything in whole. And what you should be considered about is added sugar in your meals. And be aware of the fact that uh, how this actually affects your body, how you can utilize it for energy and make sure that you eat complex sugar. And what is complex sugar? Means millets, whole wheat. So that body takes time for it to process and as a result, close the absorption in your body and you don't see those blood sugar spikes. So if you eat a lot of whole chapati, again, it is also broken down into sugar. But the time it will take it to break down into sugar and then absorb in your bloodstream is much higher as compared to when you drink it in uh, for say chai or when you drink it in cold drink because you are directly absorbing it into your bloodstream and then you see blood sugar spike. So in, avoid those kind of instant energy thing in order to have maintained energy levels stable throughout the day consume food that is comp having complex sugar that takes time for your body to digest that takes time for your body to process it so that at the end of the day you get stable energy levels stable energy spikes and you get better with your health as well it directly uh, impacts pcod directly impacts type 2 diabetes directly impacts your weight loss everything comes down to stable energy levels throughout the day so yes, make sure that you incorporate a lot of complex carbohydrate, complex sugars in your diet and minimize added sugar as much as you can. 
so yeah that's it about sugar and i hope that you find it useful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and if you have any questions and how i can guide you better with respect to sugar i would like to read it in the comments below and yes that's it join my community now so that we can become healthier fitter together the objective of this channel is to make sure that everybody around gets the basic understanding of nutrition based on complete science and facts and nothing else around so yes that's it for this video i hope you find it useful bye bye stay fit stay happy